Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to create first ASP.NET Core MVC web application by using Visual Studio 2022. Okay, let's get started. Open Visual Studio 2022 on your window PC. You take a look into the right hand side. Click on the create a new project. It will display another window where you are able to select the templates for your project. Because for now we are going to create an ASP.NET Core MVC project. So I will select the templates for my project. You take a look into the template here and scroll it down. We have the ASP.NET Core Web Application Model View Controller Templates. Let's select the templates and then click on Next button. For this templates, we will use the C# -SAP for my project. It will also able to run through the Linux, Mac OS, Windows, Cloud Service, and Web. Next step, you have to provide the project name. I will name this one is the my first a app dot net core web app MVC. Yeah. You can also able to change the location to set the shortcut for my project. For now, in this video, I will keep this one by default. You can also able to change the solution name for my project. You can hover on the icon here to see what that it mean. The solution name is a container for one or more projects in Visual Studio. Okay. So now click on next button. On this step, you have to select the .NET framework for the project. Here is only support for the .NET 6.0 preview version. For the authentication type, by default, it will select none value. You can select another option for individual account, Microsoft Identified, Microsoft Identity Platform, or even Windows. Because here, we don't have any authentication information. So, I will select the none option. You can enable the configure for HTTPS or even enter the Docker for the project. Yeah. The Docker OS, yeah. So here you can also enable the Razor runtime compilation option. The Razor runtime compilation, it means it will determine if the project is configured to use Razor runtime compilation in debug view. Okay. I will leave it by default. Click on create button. A new project has been created. And the first page here, this is just an overview of the ASP.NET Core project. You can take a look into some of the article here from references. I will close this one, and now I will take a look into the solution explorer. I have my solution, and inside the solution, I have some the folder. I have the dependency, property, web root, controller, model, and view. Yeah. Three folder will be supporting the MVC model in ASP.NET Core. Yeah, so here we have some the template of code. So now I will try to run this project to see the demonstration. Click on the run button on the menu, or you can even read the F5 on the keyboard. Yeah, so here you see we have a web page have been opened. We have the home page and privacy menu. So for now, the content inside the home page and also privacy is very simple. The text, yeah. So here, let me 
open the view folder. We have the home page. It contains the index and privacy node CS HTML file. Let's open the privacy. And here you see that we have some the code and also some the HTML tag here. In this video, I don't aim to modify some the MVC code. I just want to simple edit the content. Basically, it's the only thing. So it would be better understand how to work with the MVC. Okay, here I will add another paragraph into the privacy. Contact for any changes in the privacy policy or something like so. Here, I can also open the index file. P, I will have tag it to it to hello from Tian Viet. Okay, run the website again. Here, you see we have a new tag. Hello from Tian Viet have been added into the homepage. And when I click on privacy link, you also see a new tag have been added into the page. Contact Chen Wu for any changes in privacy policy. Okay, cool. Back to the home page. Home. Yeah. You can do some modification for the home controller. Okay. View and model. Okay. So I think that's all for today. After you finish this video, you know how to create a ESP.NET Core MVC project. And then you can also understand what does it mean for each folder in the ASP.NET Core web application. I hope this video will be helpful and you can play on this video to create other controller, other view, and other functionalities for your project. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.